So today during episode 78, we found a bunch of, I just did the, uh, the abridged version and I got to the last, uh, part of the, uh, the video. And I realized that they really, I didn't realize how many 82s, 1982 pennies there were from, you know, these three rolls, you know, that is, and I keep in the last video that I did on the 82s was uh, I broke the record. The one before that was the record. You know, it was like six pennies or something like that. Then the next one was eight. And I was like, oh, I'm never going to beat that in three rows. Three 1982 pennies in three rows. Oh, excuse me, eight 19, 1982 pennies in three rows. There's a ton of pennies. So I was like, oh, there's no way I'm ever going to beat that. And look what happened today. That's five. Six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Lucky number 13. Look at that. Lucky number 13. So let's let's look at these since I'm doing a special video just for them. Let's go a little closer. Nineteen eighty two. Large date copper. Nineteen eighty two large date copper. Nineteen eighty two large date copper. Uh, it's raining outside. I can hear the rain. I mean, it's good that it rains. Birds and worms love love the rain. 1982, large date copper. 1982, looks like a possible uh, repunched. All right, is this the one? Yeah, you can see a little bit there. Let me look at it under the loop. Yep, the, it looks like the D is repunched for sure. I could see the other D underneath it. And possibly the the two also looks like it has something weird going on with it. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to say. I'll I'll put that on the side as the as the uh the repunch. Maybe we'll look at it a little closer later, but this camera doesn't really do a very good job of that. And you can and see the weird thing is, right, with some of these, like if you look at the eight on this, look how skinny the eight is. It's not it's not the small day eight, but it's a skinny eight. And then you look at this one. To me, that's a fatter eight. Anyway, that's a large day copper, Philadelphia. Large day copper, Philadelphia. Large day cop of Philadelphia. Large day cop of Philadelphia. Large day cop of Philadelphia. Yeah, these are these are like AU condition. A two large day copper Philadelphia. Okay, we'll leave that one for last. Eighty two large day copper Philadelphia. Let me look at that. Make sure we don't have any doubling going on. What's that? And last but not least. An 82 small day Philadelphia. Now, this is, see, now, this is just to show you. Now, even though I said the 82 was thin in there, but you can really see the difference between the 8 and the small date and the large date. It's a huge difference. Same thing with the 2. 2 looks like a question mark. So, 
the big the big question always becomes with the small date, large date, copper D's is when and when it looks like a repunch, which I had I did a video on it the other day. I found one. And it looks like underneath it there's a there's that big question mark loop on the bottom going towards the bottom line. And um anyway, that's very, very rare. That's probably not what I found, but it does look a little bit like it. Um, if that is what I found, then it's a very, very super expensive penny. If it's not, it's, maybe it's a, it's a nice repunch and it's worth 20, 30 bucks, maybe. I think the condition was good in it also. But this is a beautiful small date. I think this is co copper. Let me weigh it real quick. I don't know why I thought it was copper. I don't know if it matters. I don't remember. Um, it is copper. It's 3.04. So they're all copper that we found today. No zinc, 82s. But it really, really, really is a beauty. This is, this is what you want to look for. Where's the D that we had? Okay, so that's the is that the only D we found? I think that was the only no 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 we found two D's. That's the other D, which funny because it looks now that I'm looking at the other D, it look, actually looks like it has a lamination error. Wow. That's, Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. It doesn't look like... I mean, it's super duper shiny. Super duper like wet mint type of a deal. Okay, so it does have the... Um, I said we were going to look at it again. They both look like they're repunched these. No, this one doesn't. Can I take that back with this one? It does look a little bit, but it, what it is, is look how heavy it is. It's just, it was punched so hard. You can see that, that reflection on it a little bit. That's pretty cool. But this one has the, uh, has the doubling. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Nah, see? Camera stinks, man. I have to put this on. My microscope should be coming soon. Yeah, you can see a little bit. You can see the two looks repunched, but even that two, it's not. It's not a, a large two over a small two. That's the that's the point I was trying to make. The small two. Is super super super, distinctive. You can't miss it from a mile away. There's no way to. Is that a small or that a large? If it looks like a question mark like that, it's a small date. Okay, so I wanted to just clarify that a little bit. As long as we went into it. A deep dive on on a 1982. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We broke up. We broke a record today with 13 1982 pennies from three rolls. That's really ridiculous. This one here is. This is this is this, is, this one. I would say if you say how much is it worth. I don't know. I'm gonna say maybe maybe between. Two and five dollars, maybe a little bit more. I have to do some research. It does have that mark on the back, but it's definitely at least AU condition. You know, uh, not mint state. That that ruins the mint state. That little mark there. But uh, otherwise, I'm going to say it's AU condition. Okay, so um, maybe I'll throw this one in eBay too. So I have a couple for eBay. I'll put in. Maybe I'll put this one on eBay too. It's a beauty. Started off at a dollar. Okay, and I'll see you on the next one.